Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in again. I'm sorry I missed last week. This is your weekly update for Saturday, May 16th, 2020. So let's start this week off a bit different. As you know, on our website, we have a list of monthly gardening to-dos. And for this week in May, there's quite a few. I'm gonna go day by day and explain each one. Now, one of the items is labeled three times, and that is to spray with a Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew on dogwoods and large leaf rhododendron. Why? Well, they get boar. Um, this will help prevent the boar infestation. This product specifically only takes care of like caterpillars, worms, and boar. It does not significantly harm, you know, beneficial insects. It is made from spinosad, which is a natural soil dwelling bacteria. So May 17th list, uh, tropical plants, house plants, if you want to put those outside. Move those outside gradually on cloudy days to prevent foliage burn. Please remember these plants do not like anything under 50 degrees at night. So if that happens again, please bring them in. I'd like to use this opportunity to let you know we've completely restocked on tropicals. Tropical hibiscus, diplodenia, mandevilla, it's all back in stock. And on May 18th, it lists to plant your warm season veggies and the remaining of those cold season veggies. And I'll take this opportunity again to let you know we have restocked. We have tons of tomatoes, peppers, and those mighty tomatoes you're, you just love. And we have a caged tomato that's ready to go. Just put it on your patio and you'll have tomatoes all season long. And the hot peppers are back in stock too. May 19th is to start spraying susceptible plants for bagworm larvae. And one of those extremely susceptible plants is behind me, the emerald green arborvita. Uh, you wanna plant the, or apply this insecticide three times at 10 to 14 day intervals. And I will use this opportunity to say we are again restocked on arborvita and western red cedar. The emerald green arborvita are behind me here. Uh, what's the difference between the two? Emerald green arborvita is a great hedge plant, great for screens. It grows about 12 to 15 feet tall by three to five feet wide. And the green giant western red cedar, which is now behind me, is its cousin in a different plant family, but it grows about 25 to 30 feet tall by five to six feet wide. It is deer resistant, which the emerald green arborvitas are not. May 22nd says the mountain laurel and deciduous azaleas are in full bloom at the nursery. The mountain laurel are not showing color yet, but the deciduous azaleas sure are. Mandarin lights is behind me. That's one of my favorite deciduous azaleas. The deciduous azaleas are a cousin of the common evergreen azaleas, but the flowers are much showier, much larger, and usually more in tropical colors like oranges, bright yellows, tangerine colors. Uh, they grow to about four to five feet tall, depending on variety. They're a great landscape plant. So I thought I'd come down to the back greenhouse. Many of you have been calling, emailing, hey, where are those balloon milkweeds? They are right here. They are still kind of small. So I'd say another couple weeks before they're ready. So stay tuned to Facebook and your email newsletter. We will let you know as soon as we put them out. So now that I've shown you the balloon milkweed and an update on that one, and I went over the monthly to-dos, how about my top three favorite plants this week? Another one of my favorite plants is a new fern called Crested Surf. I like it so much. I planted three at home a couple of weeks ago. I think I showed you that footage. It gets about 20 to 22 inches tall. It's just similar to a Japanese painted fern, but a little bit different. Uh, the best place for this would be a moist soil area in shade to part shade. Another one of my favorites is this brand new hydrangea. Actually, I think it came out last year, part of the Endless Summer Collection. It is called Summer Crush. 
just like other hydrangeas in this series. It gets to be about 18 to 36 inches tall. This one does say it can take full sun to part shade. And depending on the soil pH will depend on your flower color, either that brilliant pinkish mauve, magenta color, or more of a blue color. Another one of my favorite plants is behind me here. I'll give you a closer look. It is the Low Escape Mound Dwarf Chokeberry. This plant is so easy to grow. Uh, different soil conditions, different shade, to part sun, to full sun. You get these really pretty uh, white flowers in the spring, that beautiful glossy green foliage all season, and then it turns brilliant red in fall, and then you also get dark purpley black fruit. Thank you again for watching this week. While a lot of other businesses are unfortunately struggling, we are thriving and that is because of you. I thank you very much for your business this year. Uh, I've seen so many new faces, so many new names come through with Garden Club memberships, so many new people trying out gardening, veggie gardening, plants, shrubs, landscape plants. Uh, we thank you very much. Um, also, I would like to say a very happy birthday to my son, Lucas. He turned seven on yesterday. I know he watches this video, so I just want to say happy birthday, buddy. All right, we'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.